is Bodo Michael. I'm a professional artist and based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I went to Auchi Polytechnic in Edo State, Nigeria. I studied painting uh, and I graduated as the overall best student in 2001 and 2004 respectively, um, ND and HND. My, um, it was actually painting department that I graduated from. I've been working before I even enter school. I've been doing the art before I enter school. But I got to school, like I said earlier, I graduated in 2004. Um, so if I want to say years of practice, probably after my school, which is 2004, to this time, this day, uh, is exactly 20 years after I left art school. And I've been practicing. I've been engaged in the art. I've been doing art fully. Like I said, I'm a full-time studio artist. Um, this is what I do. Um, there's no other option. I'm just focused in the art. Um, this is where I earn my living. This is what I do for life. So I've been practicing for, um, if we say after school, 20 years. But I've been practicing before that. I've been doing some little exhibition before I even got to the school. Uh, well, um, I, I grew up knowing that um, I can draw, you know. So I started drawing from that stage. I know I used to go around with my brother. We used to go to some other places to get some other young artists and we draw together, you know. And I've tried for so long doing so many other things, but I just believe that this is my calling. So it's, um, uh, and I saw some great artists also before I got to school, people like um, Obiade Laku. You know, I saw its catalog and I was like, wow, this is a fantastic artist, you know. So I, I just pick up from there and I told myself that um, uh, with what I'm doing locally, I can, I can be great also. Basically, for example, I mentioned Abiodu on Laku. His style of painting is far different from my own style of painting. What I learned in school you know, uh, my, my lecturers, fantastic lecturers, Mr. Kent, Mr. Paul and Mrs. Elaine, you know, fantastic people, you know, but um, what they taught me in school, I picked those things. Then I also believe that as an artist, I should be self-taught. So I developed my own uh, style of painting. If you say influence, well, uh, for example, presently I paint African signs and symbols. And all these are from the Isibidi, um, Uli, and the Ghanaian, you know, all those things. I picked them and so I, I would say, um, basically, things around me influence me. <laughs> okay, um, my motivation. I, you know, I always believe as an artist, I'm, I'm always saying I am a work in progress, you know. So that thing that I've not achieved is what is motivating me to do more, you know, um, that thing that I've not achieved. But um, one of the persons that has um, motivated me is my mom, you know. She really did encourage me while I was starting the art, really, really did encourage me. I have never seen her discourage me in the arts. Even while I was doing things in the school, and you know, I used to tear some part of my notebook to, to do some drawings. And whenever my school teacher counts them, you know, and they see that some pages have, have gone off, they beat me. When I get home and I tell her, she said, Don't mind them. I'm the one that bought the book for you. Just keep going. You know, because she believed in what I was doing. You know, so I want to give her also the, the you know, um, kudos for believing in a son that is going to be a great artist.
art, uh, art in short, um, art is culture. Culture is the way of life of the people. So people don't exist without art. Art keeps history.